FedEx saved us with their overnight service, so we've added FedEx Ground for everyday shipping. Ground? That doesn't sound fast. Actually, Joel, FedEx Ground is faster than you think. You can't judge things by their name. Don't you agree, Harry? Absolutely. Eileen? Of course. Joy? <laughs> Bob? You see, Joel, we all agree that FedEx Ground is fast, despite the name Ground. Well said, Mr. Turkeyneck. FedEx Ground. Fast, reliable, and for less than you think. I'm Business Week's Jill Bennett. Welcome to our video podcast, Entrepreneur's Notebook, where we look at the challenges associated with running your own business. Now this week, a new opportunity for high school students. When you were a teenager, did you flip burgers, babysit, or bag groceries? One of those jobs where you'd only dream of striking it big. Well, one new business for young entrepreneurs offers them the potential to make a lot of money. The outcome depends on their fellow students, the business owner, and probably a healthy dose of luck. Even if the big payday doesn't come, students say they are profiting in other ways. So it's been selling a lot. Excellent. Good. Catherine Herman is a sales representative for My Student Biz. The 16-year-old markets the company's two snack foods to a variety of stores, including this bagel shop in New York's Westchester County. To go into stores and sell these display cases and just explain to the owners how they're supporting a local student, because I go to school around here, and their, their profit. Each box contains 12 bags of chipopities and 12 of half pops. The chipopities are bite-sized chocolate chip cookies covered in dark chocolate, while the half pops resemble half pop kernels of corn. Herman pays $11 for a box, which she sells for up to $19. She gets the boxes from Richard Lamada, who founded My Student Biz as a way to help students make money to pay for college and learn about business. Teach him entrepreneurship how to go about it, put up a website that would teach them about business, give them a little, build their self-esteem, let them come into a store like this, put a product in, learn how to build a business that could be useful for them in later years. It seems to be working. I've gotten more confident in just going in and talking to people, introducing myself, selling an idea, learned about the money aspect of it and how everybody makes a profit and the different ways to go into a business and present myself. LaMotta knows something about snack food. He put the Chipwich ice cream sandwich in the carts of street vendors in the 1980s, helping turn it into a nationwide sensation. Now he hopes the students will build up these products to a point where he can convince one of the snack food giants to buy it. He has agreed to split the profits with the students 50-50. So if all of these kids help us build the brand, I'm willing to share with them if we sell this brand for $50 million or $100 million, I'm willing to give them $25 or $50 million, and that would be a major chunk of money to these students. That could almost pay for a college education for the majority of them. The higher the sales of snacks for a particular student, the more that student stands to make if a deal is ever reached, something that certainly motivates Herman. That's a, something to be looking to in the future, and it helps me want to go out and sell more and get more people to know about it, so hopefully that will happen at some point. Since it is difficult and expensive to get products into supermarkets, my student biz is sticking with the non-traditional spots, the bagel stores, the neighborhood delis, and also nail salons. The company is also working with teachers and students around the country on how best to market the products. Next week, tips from a CEO who turned a single flower shop into a chain that ranks as one of the world's largest florists. Jim McCann of 1-800-Flowers.com joins me. With the Entrepreneur's Notebook, I'm Business Week's Jill Bennett. Thanks for joining us.